I want to show you how to extract data from PDFs and store it in Notion. So once you upload a file in Notion, you click a button and the data that you need will be extracted and stored in the database in the way that you need it. This is what the output is going to look like. We upload an invoice, we extract invoice details, all of this information gets populated. So I have it queued up in Notion. I'm going to show you the invoices, the PDFs. We'll get them in Notion, extract the data from them, and I'll show you what it looks like in Carrot as well. All right. So here in Notion, we have the invoices table and we have the vendors. Um, the invoices that we are working with are this invoice for some software from Super Ultra that I, this is just the invoice, so it doesn't indicate whether it's paid or not. And then I also have a invoice for, this is an invoice receipt for, from Vercel, and this is marked as paid. So I just want to show you the, you know, two different statuses there. The way we use this in Notion then is we just create a new record. As mentioned, we'll have to select the vendor for now, and then you can upload the file. And then all I have to do to kick off the execution of the workflow is by clicking that button. Click that. We can see it's now, um, this will take actually a second to register here, but this is the caret UI. And in a second here, it will um, start showing that the function is running. Yeah, there we go. Looks like it's running. The way this works, actually, I'll circle back into this. All right, we, we have the workflow running. The data will populate here. Oh, there it is. All right, so... We have the invoice ID extracted, the date, the cost, and the status being overdue, and we can cross-reference our invoice here. So it was due on February 28th, 2025. It uh, looks like that was extracted correctly. The cost was $4.87. That was populated correctly. And then, of course, we have the invoice ID, which tracks here as well. All right, I'm going to add another item here, this one, uh, Vercel, and... Let me upload that. And again, I'm just going to click the extract invoice button there. While that runs, I'm going to give you a real quick tour of Carrot. Sorry, my Chrome is struggling. There we go. All right, so in Carrot, this is the workflow. It's set up to receive the URL of the invoice and a Notion record ID. I'm going to call it though that is not needed at all. It's only here in the UI because that's what the workflow needs. Uh, but the way we um, connect this with Notion, you never actually have to fill out this information. So in Notion, the way this button works is we have this button, we have it set up to be an automation, and it's really simple. So it's when button is clicked, we're just sending a request to this endpoint. So the whole integration is, all you have to do is you go in here, you say, create a magic webhook. We copy this out. We add it to the button here, and this is that same URL. And then we select the details that we want to send to the workflow. In this case, all I have to do is send the invoice PDF. The um, record ID in Airtable is actually included automatically. It's, so it's included automatically. Sorry, I had to pause there for a second and cough. And that's what happens is when you click this button, it sends the data through the magic webhook in Carrot, and then Carrot can see the invoice information. Um, it'll grab the file, do the parsing, and then it will also see the Notion record ID and do all the updating. So you don't have to map any of that. There's no manual configuration. You just tell the workflow what you want it to do, and then it will do that and update it here. All right, so that is um, what the demo actually looks like. That's how you integrate Notion and Carrot, um, or at least that specific workflow. We've already shown you a little bit of this. To walk through in Carrot what creating this workflow looks like, um, first you just need to connect a integration so we support Google, uh, Google Drive, Notion, and Airtable. Once you have Notion connected, then you can create a new workflow. And this, I'm just gonna walk through this real quick. I wanna actually create the workflow, but creating the workflow in Carrot is just like this. You select the intent, and then you select the services you want to connect with. And this will pull up your available databases. In this case, we'll click invoices. And then we just provide a prompt of, you know, I'm going to provide a invoice. Please extract out the invoice details and add it to my database. Uh, we can click go here and that'll create the workflow. And behind the scenes, Carrot will actually go and look at the Notion database. It will then pull in all the fields, it'll do all the mapping behind the scenes, and it makes it really easy then um, to just add that magic webhook, and then you have the whole integration done. You don't actually have to do any manual configuration. All right, I think that covers everything. Yeah, just double check, we had the Vercel invoice go through. We have the, let me pull up the other invoice here. Um, so this invoice ID 
matches what we have here. Um, date paid was March 1, 2025. It was a $40 cost. Um, and then it is marked as paid. And that all looks correct. All we had to do is click this button. So there you have it. Um, you can create the workflow in Carrot. You just connect it with Notion. And then once the workflow is defined the way you want, integrating it as e is as easy as adding it to a button here and triggering that automation that sends the data to Carrot. Um, and then it'll populate the information in the table for you.